Hi, and welcome to our first Throwback Thursday video of the year. We hope you're all doing well and are planning your 2024 RV adventures. And that's why we're bringing back this video we made three years ago. As you know, we have a 2019 Tiffin Allegro, and like most motorhomes, it has electric steps. We found that they're pretty narrow, and sometimes, especially when you're loaded down with like groceries or with uh, when you're first loading in to get ready for a trip or when we get back from a trip and taking everything out, it can be a little bit hazardous because sometimes we sort of stumble and trip on those steps. So when we heard about the RV Co folding aluminum steps, we thought that would be really helpful for us. We released the original video in early 2021, but about a year, year and a half or so later in 2022, we decided we wanted to carpet those steps. We've been trying to figure out how to do it actually for yeah. a while. And so we did that. We did film that process, but I never released the footage. So I have re-edited that original video and added this footage just to show you how we did that. So now it's been a couple of years since we put the carpet on and we'll tell you how we like it at the end of the video. Let's roll the intro. Well, what we have here is the RV Co. four-step freestanding stair unit for RVs and tiny homes. These are all aluminum and foldable to fit right over the steps of your motorhome. Now, we didn't notice the shipping weight, but you may want a second person or dolly to help you move it once it's been delivered. However, as you'll see in the video, once we opened the box and Derek was able to get things figured out, he was also able to pick up the unit and move it pretty easily. But let's back up. A few weeks ago, I was on a Tiffin owner's page and I saw this. Steps with a handrail that fold and unfold that you sit right over the top of the motorhome steps. I had personally never seen this before and was not familiar with the brand or the company. Um, now you have to understand I am a very serious klutz. I can trip and fall on pretty much nothing and falling up a set of stairs as well as down a set of stairs is a very real possibility for me, especially in and out of a motor home. So the idea of portable steps with a handrail was very appealing. Once I realized how useful these could be, I quickly showed them to Derek and then we called the number on the web page, fully expecting to get voicemail. Instead, a very pleasant man answered. Turns out that was Gary Holly, the owner of RV Co. We chatted for a bit about where I saw the steps and talked about what model would work best for us. We gave him some measurements and said, let's do it. The unit we got was the freestanding step unit that fits over the top of our Tiffin Motorhomes electric step unit. The motorhome steps can operate as normal even with the RV Co unit in place. It has a handrail on the left side and a post on the front of the right hand side. There's the directions. That's pretty cool. You don't have to dig for them. They're right there. We took everything out of the box and laid the pieces out. The steps themselves are pre-assembled, so all you have to do is tighten the sides and insert the rails and tighten those down. Set up and take down once you get the hang of it is pretty straightforward. And there they are, the finished steps. All right, let's give them a try here. I really like having a handrail. Ooh, that's so nice. So cool. What do you think? Yeah, that's... Uh... I really like them. Going out has sometimes been problematic. I've never fallen, not on wood but 
It's sure nice to have something that's this sturdy. Now, next we just have to figure out where we're gonna put them when we're traveling. Taking them down was just as straightforward. Again, once we got the hang of it and once we figured out which bay to store them in. you may have seen our RV Co Steps video that we did uh, about a year and a half ago, actually, by now. Okay. The only thing that we weren't crazy about is that the metal on it was kind of pokey. And so I like to go barefoot a lot. So that was poking my feet. So we had, we bought a rug, um, a big, like a mat, mat at yeah. Home Depot. And I cut it up to be the same size as each step. We tried just setting them on, but the wind went whoo and took them all away. So Derek was able to take those um, pieces of carpet and look what he did. This is the finished product, the finished covered steps. See, we got these pieces of, of carpet, like you might see it in the entryway of a business. And we cut it up to fit the set of steps here. Now I'm drilling some holes. Let's see, I've, I've drilled some holes back here. I've used, I used my, my angle bit so that I could get underneath the steps to drill the holes. And then I'm gonna drill some holes in the front. And then I'm gonna put some zip ties in. And this is what it's gonna look like in the end. It's gonna have this just a little bit of a zip tie showing and underneath is where the zip tie is uh, fastened down. Okay, so now that I have the holes drilled, what I'm going to do is put the carpet pieces, the mats on top, get them all nice and positioned properly. And then I'm going to take an awl, put a hole through get it tightened up I'm gonna do this for the other holes as well okay Now that I have all of the zip ties in place, I'm going to tighten them all up and then cut off the excess. Okay, so that's, that's how the steps are done. I'm gonna do these other two. Now I'm going to show how the steps fold up even though they're all even with these permanently attached. see there's still plenty of space in between the steps for even though it has the carpeting on it this is the finished covered steps this is like an all-weather mat and it's, it's vacuumable and hose offable and all kinds of stuff and yeah we're really happy with it he did a great job 
So as you can see, the setup and the takedown of the steps is really simple. And putting the carpet on the steps was quite simple to do too. It was very easy. In the description below, you'll find a list of all the items you need to do the installation. And as you can imagine, what our assessment is we give RV Co's steps a thumbs up. We really love them. It is nice when you open up the door to have a little landing that you can stand on and you can close the door without having to go down the steps first. When they're folded, they easily fit in our bay and they're pretty easy to set up and take down. It doesn't take very much time at all. Exactly. And you can see in this picture, uh, when we camped at the Pioneer Beach uh, RV Resort in Port Aransas, Texas, you can see them in action. We use them um, every every day and we put them up almost immediately. In fact, we did put them up immediately when yeah. we got there because uh, we were there for a little while and um, they held up just fine in the wind and the sand and um, yeah, the they caught a lot of sand. <laughs> the carpeting caught quite a bit of sand. We were out there vacuuming them um, or sweeping them off. It didn't catch all the sand, but you know, yeah. nothing catches <laughs> nothing all the sand. Nothing catches all the sand on the beach. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It just made it, makes it really a lot more comfortable to go in and out of the RV. Definitely a thumbs up. Absolutely. So there you have it. RV Co. Aluminum Folding Steps. We, we had the four-step unit. And if you're in the market for stairs for your RV, we really suggest you give them a call. For more adventures, tips, tricks, and travel ideas, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And give us a thumbs up if you like the video and ring the bell to get notified. You bet. And until next time, restless friends, you take care. Bye.